request from Kat to show her how to do the peening on a metal plane. I'm going to do a little bit now just to give her some idea. I've got um, a round ended punch that Carl Holty made for me 30 odd years ago and this is just um, an old chisel that's been squared off. I sometimes use that, not very often. These are the two hammers I've got for peening. Um, the heavy one is the one I do most of the peening with. I think you really do need a heavy hammer. Um, and these two I, I came by before I ever started plane making. So I don't know what the correct weight should be, but these, this is what I use. Mainly the big heavy one. I've been making this over the past couple of days and I've got to the stage where I've just placed that on there and I always do this peen in first because it presses the sole onto the body before I do anything on the side. Now the anvil is not dead flat, it appears flat but it's not. And if you use anything that's not flat, when you're hammering big heavy blows or whatever, you can distort the plane to the shape of the unlevel handrails. I put a piece, don't know where this came from, I've had it years. That is flat. So, upside down. I start normally with these two points here forcing this piece of steel that way and these bits on the edge leading towards the mouth forcing this bit that way to help to close the mouth up. so just hold it firm and I have to strangle my hammer hold it up here to get accuracy This is bronze body, superb for peening and machine tool steel for the sole. So I've, I've clobbered that up, pulling it that way, same this end. If I had more than two hands, I would start probably with this. Uh, but I can't and I don't like asking anybody to hold things for me so anyway there you are look that's hammered down now I can do this last bit here making sure it's bedded making sure that that's more or less tight I'm going to start on this bit here now pointing, pushing that this way That's the sound it should make. That's solid.
I'm hammering the bronze that way a bit to close the gap, that little gap up there. Can't see, but wind's affecting my eyes, making them run. It's quite cold today. Now I'm going to do the last two. Oh, very often it's advisable to use a punch on this bit because if you hammer too much on the f extreme edges, front and back, it tends to bend this piece of steel slightly. But I'm going to try and hammer this side more. The heavy blows are the right side of the piece of metal I'm peeling. There we go. I'll do this. It's the same principle on the sides, but I'll do that another time tomorrow. Well, now I'm going to a Davy Stanley sale, so uh, it'll done, be done later on. But it's the same thing, peeing in like this. You really want somebody to hold it for you. I sometimes use a thin piece of brass as it happens it's about the same amount of uh, steel that I'm going to peen the problem is you've got these bits here and that bit there you want, you want everything to be solid so I'm just putting it like on the edge Cut it. keeps it squarish when you're doing this I'll show you that at a later date.